Hey there. I am really excited to talk and hang out for a few minutes, maybe a little bit more than a few minutes, and share a little bit more about my choice to have an intentional psychedelic experience, a guided, intentional, safe, very safe and quite beautiful experience using a plant from nature, mushrooms, psilocybins, and um, being very intentional about what I wanted to heal, what I, what I brought to that ceremony to lay down, and what I opened myself up and made space to receive. That's the that's that's why people use psychedelics uh, for insight, um, for healing, spiritual connection, um, understanding. I, I have to say my appreciation for this plant compound that the Mayans refer to as flesh of the gods is very positive. And I, I like to say the, the mushrooms call you to the present like nothing else. The sense of presence when using that medicine is profound. And there's so much that can be seen and felt and experienced during the four to eight hour journey, as it's called, that I just feel like I want to share it. And also be really candid for those of you that might be a little shocked right now, like, wait, <laughs> what is happening? We're just talking about using drugs. There is a revolution <laughs> with this psilocybin mushroom happening in our culture and all over the world right now. And there are practitioners, licensed, um, highly, highly educated practitioners administering this very same medicine that I'm talking about in a clinical setting every single day in this country. And we're seeing post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, anxiety, addiction, um, and so many other things, suicidal thoughts, autism, Asperger's, eating disorders. I mean, the, the research, the stuff that's coming out is so compelling for what we need to heal as a people that I feel really excited to be part of this conversation because I'm experiencing healing using this compound. And, um, I want to share a little bit more and answer your questions. So on Instagram stories, a couple days ago after I had shared kind of cryptically that I was doing this experience in a tent on a little piece of nature with my husband, and I was just flooded with so many curious questions and well wishes and so much support from you guys, especially those of you that have experienced this medicine. I got so many great questions, and I'm going to answer them in this video and tell you just what happened for me when I um, went into the ceremony and drank the tea. So what I loved about the experience that I had is that there was a lot of setup before the drinking of the tea to really get grounded and clear and comfortable with why we were sitting six people in a tent <laughs> uh, at three o'clock on a Friday afternoon and show up very vulnerably and authentically. And I'm sure it's not gonna be a surprise to anybody that knows me really well, like that's my happy place to just be like in the rawness of being human in a lot of ways. I mean, that's what, what I do in my work. And that's why I love talking about chronic illness. And so that's what, speaking of chronic illness, really what brought me to this plant, specifically this ceremony. So in the setup before drinking the tea, we had the opportunity to clear space out of us very intentionally. Um, this looks like guidance, meditation, song, just lovely, warm, for me, comfortable way to get connected to myself and to the group and to set the stage for the spiritual experience <laughs> of then receiving the sacrament and, you know, having the journey. So I loved all of the setup to it and I was nervous to drink the tea. This was one of your questions because it can be a little bit upsetting to some people's digestive systems. And if we know anybody that's going to get aggravated and irritated, um, it's me. So 
I was nervous taking as much as I took and I did leave some at the bottom. You make the tea by putting the plant in um, boiling water with some gorgeous honey that was provided and stirred in and drank all the tea and then eat the, the mushy mushrooms at the bottom. I got through three of the four bites with a chaser and then I listened to my body and and set it down. Um, and then we were invited to kind of cocoon in, in the tent to the warmth. Nick and I had brought our weighted blankets. And so that felt really nice and safe. And the medicine began to take effect. And when you drink it as a tea, it, it, it has the tendency to come on a little bit faster. And um, I saw things. <laughs> I had the experience of having the medicine come into my system and my brain went with my eyes closed and in this sacred setting um, and this safe space. I was able to let go and it was a lot of visuals behind my eyes and, and the visuals would kind of match a feeling and then a memory. And so I was having this like really amazing, intense psychedelic experience, as you could imagine, coming up with the medicine. And I was shown a very specific time in my life and a very specific incident. It was like, here you go. I wasn't expecting that when I asked for healing in my body and healing in my mind and healing in the systems of my body and healing in my relationship with money and healing uh, through my children, right? All of these things. I didn't think this memory from 2001, this experience, this thing that happened to me, this trauma was going to come up. And so I was with it for a minute and then I... I think I put it aside like, okay, <laughs> that's about all that I can handle right now. And my body began to get very uncomfortable. And so I started to move around um, inside of the tent and I started to feel a little um, like I couldn't get enough air, a little panicky. And so I listened to my body and I, my husband had gone outside to see the stars. He said they were beautiful. He said, let me take you outside. And as I was putting my clothes on to go outside, my guide said, um, are you okay? Like he, he, he extended himself to me, made contact with me. And, um, I remember saying, I'm just here in my pain and my suffering. I'm here in the balance of my pain and my suffering. I began to like really weep and, and wail. And the people in the tent held the space for me. And he offered me some beautiful insight, some truth that pain is, pain is our healer. Pain is where the light comes through, right? I left the tent with my husband and I sobbed. I sobbed, I grieved. Uh, I don't know for how long, it felt like a really long time. <laughs> and I was so well cared for and so loved by um, those who were holding the space for this event and experience. And it was just the most heartbreakingly beautiful experience being held and allowing myself to grieve, really. How many of us might have a thing or two or just three to grieve about that's not expressed in us? And, you know, when we suppress those emotions, when I suppress that memory, when we don't allow ourselves to feel, we don't heal. And so I allowed the feeling and there was another side to it. There was catharsis. And, and yes, there was another side the, the next four hours of the evening, for sure. I had fun. I moved my body. I sat in a hammock. I sat in nature uh, on a, a little <laughs> portable potty <laughs> and just enjoyed the leaves. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful evening. Nature is a hugely important component I think with this plant and especially my connection to it and the healing I experienced that night, I needed to shed that trauma. So then I went back into the tent. So, so let me, to finish the, the story about the trauma, because I think um, those of us that are drawn to the plant medicine path and to be totally clear, I don't think I'm not telling you about this because I think everybody needs to do this. OK, that's like me saying everyone needs to do a 72 hour water fast with me when I did that six weeks ago. Right. Um, that's not how I roll. But I think there's so much in this medicine for so many of us, especially anyone with trauma, which is, oh, I guess um, all of you, all of us, yes. Doesn't matter if it's big T or little T. I needed to have this catharsis. So I went back into the tent 
and um, was processing just with the group. And it's so wonderful how it works connection wise with this plant. You connect with yourself and you can connect with others. There's uh, catharsis and healing that happens in the connection with others too, which is why doing it in a group is so interesting. And I really enjoyed that part of it. And so the guide brought up something from his life that was exactly parallel to that time in my life that I had been shown at the beginning of the plant medicine journey. And so it was like zzz, 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 synergy, right? And I, I was able to close the loop. I was able to converse. I was able to feel. I was able to talk about that time and that trauma. I was able to share my story. And I was able to so clearly understand, oh, I'm, I need to heal that in order to heal the chronic shooting pain in my right shoulder blade, perhaps. I mean, and healing is so complex. I don't know how me sobbing about this time in my life on a Friday night in a little patch of nature in a, in a beautiful, loving group is healing this shoulder pain, but somehow it is in a, in a beautiful interconnected way. And that's the spiritual part of all of this. The questions you guys had. How do you feel now since the ceremony? Good question. So there's an integration after an experience like this. And by the way, I ended the night sleeping under the stars in a hammock with my husband next to me on an anti-gravity chair on the most beautiful evening under the stars. Yeah, there's a lot of integrating that has to happen after an experience like that. It's still happening. I mean, it's Tuesday. That's four days later. I will continue to experience the reverberations of that journey, just like I experience the reverberations by microdosing this very same medicine. So how do I feel since then? I feel um, less anxiety in my body and more alignment with who I am. It feels easier to just access me and connect with myself, with you, uh, with the truth of what's happening in a situation, with my kids, with my husband. So big connection healing for me. Easier time making new choices, I've noticed. And you, you guys know how much I love all things neuroplasticity and changing our habits and our brain and our mindset intentionally. Uh, I'm drawn to this plant because it has the capacity to, I mean, it does, it does neurogenesis. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. So I'm making new choices more easily. So for example, my addiction to my phone, which I've been transparent about with you guys, just the addiction to the, de the device, the information, the connection, whatever, uh, the distraction for sure, the dopamine hit. <laughs> oh God, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So I've noticed in the last four days since the ceremony, it's much easier for me to draw the boundaries that I want to draw with my phone Thing that I'm entangled in right now, it's much easier. I feel much clearer like, oh no, right now is not a moment for this electronic. There's less like low vibe attachment to the thing that's going to make me feel better. And there's a lot more um, security that I am okay. And I don't need that thing to help me feel better. Imagine the implications here for addiction to food. I've definitely worked with people who've told me they've had experiences intentionally using this plant and were able to put down sugar, put down cigarettes, alcohol. Yes, for sure. That's exciting to me. I believe this plant is a miracle and a cure for a lot of things. I'm passionate about this. I've become really passionate about this. My group program is called Transformation. I feel like I've been gifted this information and this beautiful plant to walk this plant medicine path intentionally and heal the wounds that I need to heal in order to watch my kids have kids maybe one day, to travel the country and be able to go anywhere I want without experiencing pain. I want those things and I'm willing to drink a nasty ass tea <laughs> and have a really intense cathartic healing experience in order to get there. And so I wanted to share my personal experience with the plant and you um, because you've been so supportive, because you have so many questions. Please let me know if you have more because it's transformative, because this plant transforms us psychedelics really, I will open that up. And I really am talking about compounds from nature here. Offer us the opportunity to step into our most aligned selves. And I'm here for it. <laughs> 
and thank you for being here for me. It was really cool to be able to share my experience in a cohesive storytelling type way. Thanks for listening and for being a part of my journey. I hope it somehow inspires you on your awesome, beautiful journey. Ciao.